Hello everyone, Lisa here. A while ago I posted this short showcasing a Playnet mod I found. This mod allows Playnet to start before Windows to give you a Windows experience closer to that of SteamOS. For those who don't know, Playnet is a free and highly customizable game launcher. The reason I chose it over Steam is due to Playnet's ability to run scripts right on startup, which is essential for this mod to work. For this tutorial, I'm using a fresh installation of Windows with only the Steam Deck drivers installed. Before I get to the mod itself, there are a few things we need to tweak in Windows. Firstly, we need to help Windows recognize the Steam Deck controller. There are quite a few community-made programs that can help us do this. The one I will be using for this video is called Handheld Companion. Once you finish installing Handheld Companion, the Steam Deck will need to be restarted. After the restart, Handheld Companion should automatically open. Firstly, you'll want to choose which controller the Steam Deck will show up as in games. Next, go to Profiles. By default, Handheld Companion comes with two profiles, Default and Desktop. You can also create game-specific profiles by browsing for the game's executable file. This allows Handheld Companion to see if the game is launched, and when it is, it changes your controller mappings accordingly, kind of like SteamOS. Note, this doesn't seem to work for Xbox games since they don't really use regular EXE files. To change your controller mapping, scroll to the bottom and select Controller Layout. From here you can map the Steam Deck's buttons just like in SteamOS. Once you're happy with the profile, make sure controller layout is on. Unfortunately, Handheld Companion doesn't have any way to detect if you're on the Windows desktop, so it will not automatically switch between the default and desktop profiles. Fortunately, the desktop profile can be toggled on and off on the Quick Tools menu. And you can easily open this menu using a hotkey. Yeah, that's right, you can map hotkeys in Handheld Companion. Just go over to the Hotkeys tab. From here you get a ton of different options for hotkeys. I recommend creating hotkeys for Quick Tools and the touch keyboard. To map a hotkey, tap or click the Press to Define Trigger button, and hit the button or combo you wish to use for that hotkey. I mapped Quick Tools to the Steam button and the touch keyboard to Steam plus X. If you don't like where the Quick Tools menu opens up on screen, go to Settings and scroll down until you see Quick Tools options. I set my Quick Tools window to open in the top left. While you're in the Settings tab, I recommend switching on Auto Start Application, Open Application in Background, and lastly Close Minimizes. Now that Handheld Companion is installed, I recommend removing some of the junk that comes with Windows. You can do this by going to Add or Remove Programs and uninstalling whatever programs you're never going to use. Note, not everything shown here can be uninstalled, which is really annoying. If you're like me and set up Handheld Companion to make your Steam Deck act like an Xbox controller, and use the Steam button as a hotkey, make sure you disable the Xbox Game Bar. Otherwise it'll pop up whenever the Steam key is pressed. Really annoying. To disable it, search for Xbox Game Bar and select any of the Game Bar options that pop up. Scroll to the top of the settings window. Now you can either disable the Xbox Game Bar or uncheck the box below that to prevent the Steam button from opening the Xbox Game Bar. If you've dual-booted SteamOS and Windows like I have, you might have noticed all these extra drives and windows. If you wish to hide them all like I did, open Command Prompt, now type in Disk Part, and hit Enter. On the message that pops up, select Yes, a new window will open up, now type in List Volume, and hit Enter. Here you will see all the extra drives showing up in Windows that actually belong to SteamOS. In my case, I want to hide drives D, E, and F. 
but these drive letters might differ for you. You'll want to select the volume that corresponds to the drive letter you wish to hide. In my case, I wanted to hide the D drive first, and that happens to be volume 1 on my Steam Deck. To select the volume, type select vol and the number of the volume. So in my case, I'll type select vol 1 and hit enter. Now I want to remove the drive letter, so I'll type remove space letter equal sign D. Then repeat this for all the drives you wish to hide from Windows. Oh, much better. Now open PowerShell as administrator. To improve the Windows sleep mode, run the following three commands. Power CFG space forward slash set AC value index space scheme underscore current space sub underscore none space console lock space zero. Now you're going to type out the same thing again or use the up and down arrows to go through the history. And instead of set AC value, you want to change that to set DC value. Then just hit enter. Lastly, it's going to be power CFG again, space dash H space off. You can skip this next part if you're not dual booting SteamOS and Windows on your Steam Deck. This next command will permanently fix an issue with the Windows clock and Linux. So you'll want to type out reg space add space double quotes h key underscore local underscore machine backslash system backslash current control set backslash control backslash time zone information and the double quote space forward slash v space real time is universal space forward slash d space number one space forward slash t space reg underscore d word space forward slash f now restart your steam deck and boot into steam os then restart it again and boot back into windows you should notice the time is consistent between windows and steam os now to stop Windows from asking you for your password every time you put your deck to sleep or boot into Windows, go to Sign in Options and set a password if you haven't already. I know what you're thinking, but hear me out. Scroll down to Require Sign In and select Never. Now, if you never want to be asked for a password, change your password again, but this time leave it blank. So as you can see, I can put my deck to sleep and turn it back on, and it doesn't ask me for a password. To make Windows look more like SteamOS, I customized the lock screen. Went to Your Info and changed my profile picture to look like the SteamOS logo. Now it looks really weird on a normal background, so I search for the lock screen. Select to change your lock screen background, and change the background to a black picture. Now for the best part of this mod, the moment you've all been waiting for, Play Night. Even though I wasn't the person who discovered this mod, I did improve it a lot. So first you'll want to install Play Night. Now copy the first script from the video description to a notepad document. Make sure the path to Play Night is correct. In the script, I have it set to the default location. Save the script as a .bat file. Now download bat to exe. 
So when I actually got around to filming this tutorial, um, it turns out the link that's in the original Play Night mod post is completely dead. Uh, so I actually still have the program on my Steam Deck and have taken the liberty of uploading it to my Google Drive. So there is a link in the video description to download that program. Once the file downloads, extract the zip file. You can right click on it and hit extract here. Then browse to bat to exe converter x64.exe. Open it and select your script. Set the visibility to invisible application, check add administrator manifest, and change the architecture to 64-bit. Then click on compile. By default, the exe will save to the same location as your script. Now open up Play Night in desktop mode. Click on the controller icon on the top left hand corner and select settings. From the list on the left, select scripts, select application scripts, and under application startup, paste the second script from the video's description. Make sure you update the script to have the correct path to the exe file you created. Lastly, hit save. I modified this script to only run once, otherwise File Explorer would open up every time you open Play Night, which is really annoying. Play Night makes it really easy to add games to it that you already have installed on your Steam Deck, and it supports a lot of popular launchers, including Steam and Epic and GOG and more. Basically, if the game is installed on your Steam Deck, you're pretty much guaranteed to be able to add it to Play Night. All you have to do is click on the controller icon in the top left hand corner, and select Add Game. Now select Scan Automatically, and then click Detect Installed, and from here just check all of the games you want to add to Play Night, then click Add Game, and everything you selected will show up in Play Night. Now we have to change our settings again so that Playnate opens in full screen mode instead of desktop mode just because it'll provide a better experience for us when we boot our Steam Deck. So to do that, you're just going to want to click on the controller icon again and select settings. And then on the main settings menu, there is an option for launch in full screen mode. Make sure that's checked and hit save. Now restart your Steam Deck and Play Night will open right before Windows. However, since this script requires admin rights, a prompt will appear every time it runs. We can prevent this message from appearing by changing the user account control settings. In Windows, search for Change User Account Control Settings, select Never Notify, and click OK. Alright, and there we go. Now Windows should act a lot more like SteamOS. As usual, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below, and subscribe for more Steam Deck tutorials.